All right, so today we're going to show you how to wire an emergency power off switch or a remote emergency power off switch to the output of the UPS. As you can see right here, you have a pure sine wave coming out of the UPS. I'm plugged into the ports on the back. And we have right here an EPO switch. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our EPO snap-in accessory and we're going to add wires to it. So in this case You go ahead and put the wires in. Screwdriver. There we go. We're making some progress. So I'm tightening this down. This wire is nice and snug. Put the second wire in. As you can see now we have. The accessory is all wired up. And now we have our emergency power off switch. So I'm going to wire it to the side that is normally open, which is the green side in this case. Go ahead and wire this up. So we're all wired up. We have our emergency stop switch here. So what we're going to do now is going to add it to the UPS. And we can see that power is still active on the output with our oscilloscope here. Okay, see so power is still active. And we're going to go ahead and use the emergency stop button. You'll see we get an alert, and you'll see that the alert said EPO, which means that the emergency power off switch was activated. Now let's go ahead and undo the emergency power off switch. Now that it has been reset, we have to power off the UPS. And power back on the UPS to clear the alarm. And now you can see that power is restored.